Hi everybody, I hope you're keeping safe and well. I thought what I'd do today is to talk to you a little bit uh, quite differently uh, about uh, an exhibition called About Ashton, which is a series of works that um, I put together and uh, were hung in and exhibited uh, in the Market Hall in Ashton, just as lockdown was happening. Uh, so now, uh, several months on, um, we are about to, uh, they are about to reopen the gallery space, which is where the uh, pieces are hung, uh, in the uh, market hall in Ashton. And so, as that's about to happen on Monday, I thought I'd come on here and talk to you a little bit about what the exhibition was about, uh, and then share with you uh, some uh, work, some images of the work uh, in situ, uh, and some specifics of the, of the work itself. Uh, I've actually written uh, a blog about it and have an online gallery, but I just thought doing it this way would give you a little bit more insight into where I was coming from, from the work. Um, and as you can see, I'm still um, at home in the tiny space that I have used since lockdown for my work. I am now moving back into uh, using the um, wood end mill uh, space I have as well. But um, as I'm still working in here as well, I thought it made sense uh, for me to share it from share this video from here. So let me just sort of um, talk to you a little bit about what um, how the exhibition came about and then what the work is about and why it's about that, just so that you get a bit of a clearer picture. So uh, last year I was approached by um, some of the uh, market and the gallery um, personnel in the Thameside Council uh, about uh, doing an, an exhibition in a new space that they were creating which is the market uh, gallery uh, in uh, the market hall and it's a lovely space, um, it's fresh, it's bright, it's airy, it's contemporary it has beautiful gla uh, glass, uh, the domed glass within the, the market hall windows. Uh, so that's at the top of the gallery. So that kind of provides a nice sort of uh, visual kind of context uh, for the space. Um, and uh, when I was asked if I was interested, I jumped at the chance. Um, I um, had been drawing uh, in the market hall and that's how they got to talk to me and that's how we kind of got to meet really. Uh, so it was all very kind of um, in context uh, in, in terms of what I, I, was, I was going to be doing uh, for the space. And what I immediately thought was that I wanted to do something that was... Uh, was was new work um, and it was uh, about Ashton because uh, for me I had uh, moved to Ashton or moved to the outskirts of Ashton I live in Mosley uh, so I had moved up here to the hills as I call it uh, a couple of years ago having spent 13 years living in Salford in Greater Manchester uh, so Ashton had become uh, an important place for me to visit and to get to know um, and to learn about and so it became clear to me very uh, early on that I wanted to do an exhibition that was about Ashton. A lot of my work is done on location and my interest is in places um, and what makes those places, be it the people, the buildings and so on. So it made perfect sense for me to have an exhibition about Ashton and, and hence that was the sort of lead idea. Um, within the exhibition, I just want to talk to you a little bit about what the um, exhibition is. Um, I have three different types of work within uh, the exhibition, but all of them are very related and all of them are about place, and in this case about Ashton specifically. And the first uh, group of work is a, is a series of seven pieces which are all done on location and they're watercolour pen and ink, what I call colour first pieces, which is what I'm often known for in my illustration work. Um, and those pieces are about buildings that uh, became important to me for various reasons, mainly, mainly because they're on my route. They were something that were very notable to me, beautiful buildings, um, very unique. So uh, things, for example, including uh, the Ashton Old Baths, uh, I've uh, are there are one of the illustrations. Um, the um, Portland Basin is one of them. Um, the uh, Stamford Street, uh, which is a which is a street I often walk down and walk across to the Market Hall. 
uh, and then uh, several others, including uh, the uh, rather stunning, uh, but now in somewhat decay, uh, glass house, greenhouse conservatory um, in Stamford Park. So several of those uh, illustrations, and they were all done, as I say, on location uh, using uh, a tripod and uh, or just held in my hand, depending, uh, depending on, on the day, really. Uh, so that's the first uh, group of pieces. And then the second group of pieces, uh, there's a series of eight which are collage uh, pieces. And when I say collage, what I mean is that it's layers of paper um, and text and pattern that's stuck down onto the surface together with other paints and, and colours and lines, well, line work. And those eight pieces are all about the market hall itself. Um, and the Market Hall is particularly um, fascinating uh, to me. Um, I grew up in the south of England where there are indoor markets, but not as many. Um, but I grew up in a market town. And so twice a week there was a market in the streets. And that was very much a sort of uh, part of my family life and part of my growing up. Um, and the hustle and bustle and community that is associated with markets has always been a fascinating thing for me. And also the, the look of them is also quite stunning with the sort of like the, um, the, the, the top knots and the, the way all of the, the uh, wares are, uh, are laid out and everything. There's a real vibrancy to a market. So it was something I was really uh, keen to do. And so um, what I've done is eight pieces. Four pieces are from the outside of the building and four pieces on the inside. And what I've been trying to do in this set of eight um, is to really get across, firstly, the stunning structure and physicality of the market hall itself, inside and outside. I became fascinated on the inside of how, depending on where you stood, the glass roof looks so different and the angles and shapes are so different. Um, so that was this whole structure of it inside and out beautiful uh, was something I wanted to capture in the work but the other thing was the kind of the hustle and bustle and the market stalls and the people was was another thing so I, what I've tried to do is to bring those two things together in those eight pieces of work um, so that's um, that's those those eight and then the final uh, group of work is a, is a series of four and these are the very first of a new series for me all about the Lancashire cotton mills. And these are quite different in the sense that the other two types of work I've described to you are representational. And so they do look like the, the scene itself. Um, they reflect that. But the mills, uh, the four about the mills are really about my feelings um, of, of place and of this case, the mills. I'm absolutely fascinated with old mills and the beauty of them. And although they were obviously very harsh places to, to, to work, um, uh, I'm also quite fascinated by the importance of them as structures and the way that they, um, they really reflect they, they are Lancashire. The, the scenes with the mills, I mean obviously the Lowry scenes and so on, are so uh, set in people's mind. But I grew up in the south but came to the north, to Manchester and to Lancashire very regularly because my father is from Manchester. And so for me they are a really critical part of that landscape. And so I wanted to kind of um, explore my feelings of mills in this series. And these are the first of them. And I've been very fortunate in the sense that I had donated to me a set of old vintage books about mills and about working in the mills, actually all about spinning and we weaving. And so those books and text and images from those books are actually within the paintings together with paint and inks, uh, and they're all layered. Um, and so um, those four are the, really the start of that series. Um, so, so together they form that, that sort of whole body of about Ashton really, those, those three types of work. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to share with you um, some uh, video of the actual uh, pieces in place in the market hall, and then the individual uh, pieces themselves. <laughs>
you've seen the work in situ in the Market Hall Gallery and as I mentioned at the beginning uh, from Monday the 15th of June 2020 uh, the exhibition of my work will again be open uh, for viewing uh, obviously following the social distancing protocols um, but you can also see it on my website under the galleries menu uh, which is uh, at the top uh, on a on a PC and if you click on that on the galleries menu and the, a drop down will appear and it's under exhibitions uh, and all of the work uh, is shared there and if you're interested in any of the pieces or want to talk about any of the pieces then please do get in contact with me by direct messaging me and as I say the exhibition is now going to be open again in the market hall in Ashton and it will be there uh, through uh, June and July uh, probably until the beginning of August. Uh, so thanks very much for watching and I hope you've enjoyed it. Stay safe and well. Bye bye.